Hey there, Heretic! We're a lightweight, deployable application that seamlessly integrates into your existing Relativity environment to enable a more efficient and effective contract review workflow. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what a capital project management workflow with Heretic looks like while highlighting some key features and functionality. Our goal today is to extract key clauses from capital project contracts, auto group related project documents into families within a portfolio, and lastly, to catalog and calculate source of truth financial data from project contracts to reference against invoices. Let's jump into it. The first step in this workflow is for the subject matter expert or SME to work with the stakeholders to gather all relevant documents across the organization. Lucky for my team, I am the SME, and I've already gone ahead to gather all relevant documents and have loaded them into Relativity. For purposes of this demo, I've left one out to show you how quick and easy it is to upload documents into Relativity via drag and drop. And as these documents are being uploaded, they are automatically analyzed by Heretic's capital project management models to find us the insights we need. Let's jump into the results. Heretic's technology immediately begins extracting critical data from the client's contracts across all capital projects. As you can see here, Heretic classifies each contract into a category or contract type, allowing this SME to drill down into all leases, for example. Heretic will also extract the contract title from each agreement so that the SME can reference it against the contract type. Heretic will also segment each contract into clauses and generates a relativity document for every clause, allowing the SME to compare them and get a bird's eye view of specific language across all portfolios. Going beyond just clause extraction, Heretic will actually auto-populate choice fields and answer critical questions about the client's leases, such as whether there is a right to assign, whether it requires written consent, whether there is a right to terminate, and what the notice requirements are for termination. The next step of the workflow is for the project manager to group related documents into projects. In this example, we know there are only six projects, but looking at this document list, there are 17 documents. And taking a bit of a closer look, I'll see that there are amendments, there's an invoice, scrolling down, there's an exhibit, more amendments, uh, an addendum. And so what we want to do is, is say, what is the common thread among these related documents? And it's pretty clear here that it's the counterparty. You'll see that the counterparty is repeated. And so what we want to do is auto group these documents into tidy buckets based on this shared field value of counterparty. And that is the project manager's next step. So the project manager has created a new unitization model to auto group these projects. And for fields in common, she's chosen the counterparty. And for the field to populate, she's linked to the project identifier field. And after running this model, I'll see that my documents are now neatly grouped into buckets based on this project identifier field that Heretic auto populated. The final step in the workflow is for the SME to analyze key financial data in these leases and compare the agreed upon costs to actual invoices from the client's accounting system. Luckily for the SME, Heretic has provided a fantastic head start by auto extracting a lot of this information. For example, the execution date, lease end date, term, the monthly rent, the monthly insurance premiums, and the monthly taxes. And now with the power of being in the Relativity platform, we can run a few scripts in order to calculate the remainder of these fields. And now after running those scripts, I can see that total monthly expense was calculated by summing up the monthly costs. Total annual expense was calculated by simply multiplying total monthly expense by 12. Remaining months was calculated via the lease end date and remaining lease value was calculated by multiplying the remaining months by the monthly expense. We even tagged a yes no field with no if the remaining months was zero. Now as the SME, I have a reliable, centralized, 
single source of truth for the client's financial obligations. I can now reference these figures against invoices in the client's accounting system and get a stronger grasp on these capital projects. While Heretic was able to automate much of this financial data extraction, that may not always be the case, and extracted text may not always be easy to review. To illustrate this, I'm going to remove this auto-populated monthly rent field, and I'm going to turn off the monthly rent data point. Now, as a reviewer navigating this extracted text, there's so much white space, and the way this is formatted, it's not really clear I could miss this key data point. But what I can do is simply go to the image, and now it's obvious the data point that I need to collect. I can simply highlight, send a field, and then I get a nice cropped image that I can compare with the copied text and simply click the monthly rent field. Thank you so much for watching our Capital Project Management Workflow with Heretic. We'll see you on the next one.